This is our trouble E30 buses with solar farm. <clears throat> so, uh, BV integration at 33 kilovolt in interconnected grid consists of uh, a slag bus with high inertia. solar farm or BV solar here this wide box BV solar array uh, consists of 250 kilowatt uh, <clears throat> with uh, 40 strings that mean 10 megawatt so for this solar farm or BV penetration uh, we have many quiz and what's the benefit of uh, solar integration in uh, this interconnected with IEEE 30 buses question one about losses reduction across overhead line and how voltage profile will be enhanced and how is the BV respond to air fault across an overhead line and what's the minimum grid voltage limit accepted to operate BV that mean voltage right through and what's the behavior of BV when grid circuit breaker trip is still supply local load or not so to answer this question we need simulation and simulation will be in obvious cut software so let us show the configuration of the solar farm so uh, here I have uh, 10 megawatt uh, 10 megawatt for case uh, I, I will do four cases or four scenario 15 megawatt for case one and two with 60 string here for 15 megawatt and 40 strings or 40 unit that means 10 megawatt for, for case 3 and 4 so what about inverter inverter control using BQ method with ABC to DQ transformation and phase phase lock loop for IGBT is switching with carrier frequency about uh, 15 times uh, power frequency that mean 5 kilohertz so inverter voltage will be 1 kilovolt then step it up to 33 kilovolt using DIN transformer the whole system connected with overhead line 33 kV single circuit 185 mm square for as cross section area with lengths about 10 km so <clears throat> for case 1 scenario also as we can see we have two source for active and reactive power that one is like bus and another source the other source is, is only synchronous condenser and we use synchronous condenser here to give us only reactive power and we get inertia because we need inertia 
for stability issue with BV system. This synchronous condenser uh, is last uh, the oldest uh, technology for power factor control or power reactive power control in uh, grid. So we need it just for inertia and also for voltage and bar control on this interconnected grid with 15 buses. So for case one, for case one simulation, Talking more about inertia issues for stability problem in with renewable energy like BV or wind, or wind turbine wind turbine integration on uh, electrical grid. So I think recently we have this virtual machine. Virtual machine. This virtual machine look like synchronous generator. Traditional inverter, traditional BV inverter, not have drop control and inertia system. Not like, not like, uh, not like synchronous generator because that one is a, a dynamic system. And inverter just only uh, solid state or a static electronic, just electronic and solid state system. So we need inertia for stability issue so now as this virtual uh, machine or call it virtual synchronous machine uh, contain through control and inertia emulation or simulation we need through control for power control and inertia for stability issue this is called a virtual synchronous machine All right, so for case one simulation, let us explain already simulated. Let us explain from code <coughs> here. We have load here, we have uh, this uh, 33 kilovolt line uh, with local load about 15 megawatt and 7.2 megawatt before BV integration before BV integration the exported power or sending power about 13.86 and receiving active power about 13.47 why not 15 because the voltage here uh, about 31 so, because this load about 15 megawatt at 33 kilovolt, but because the volt number uh, the operated voltage here about 31.2 kilovolt, so uh, the nominal power here about 13.47. For the active power sending 3.423 are receiving 3.2. Sending voltage 32.43, receiving voltage 31.2. This one before solar integration. So, losses here in overhead line for active power about 0.4 megawatt and for reactive power about 0.7 megawatt and bus voltage about 31.2. This is before integration of uh, BV. Okay, so after BV integration, this BV integration after 0.5 seconds of simulation time, now the bar decreases from grid side and also losses will be decreased across the line for active power and reactive power and voltage profile will be enhanced than before. Okay, this is uh, after one second. 
after one second the voltage on bus 11 about 32.7 that means voltage profile enhanced this is a question for voltage profile okay now I think this after 1.5 second from simulation time and the uh, VV generate about 15 megawatt and the for now we export the power to line we export power about 0.8 megawatt and but for act for reactive power is still imported from the line about 3.6 megabar I can generate I cannot generate 15 megawatt and 7.2 megawatt because my BV only about 15 megawatt. I can generate uh, say uh, 12 or 13 megawatt and uh, 7 megawatt at 0.8 uh, power factor. But I want to maximize the BV to be active power because reactive power I can get it from another source just like a booster bank here installed in this bus. About 3.5 megabar installed in this bus. So it's better to maximize the active power from uh, BV. That means power factor uh, work uh, operation power factor for BV will be at unity. So as we can see the here in this graph we have sending uh, sending power and receiving active power and here for solar power about 15 megawatt and zero uh, megabar and here is a solar voltage that means the voltage at bus 11 so the losses reduction by integration of 15 megawatt that means generation equal load demand the losses reduction before about 500 kilowatt now it will be zero megawatt that means reduction losses about 500 kilowatt and the voltage profile enhanced from 31.5 to 32.5 kilowatt That means for this quiz, the losses reduction about 500 kilowatt, voltage profile enhanced from 31.5 to 32.5 about 1 kilovolt. This for case 1. The second and third cases it will be for uh, air fault line and how BV respond to it, and uh, for voltage limit for for a minimum grid voltage limit that means voltage right through and the behavior of bv when uh, grid circuit breaker this circuit breaker trip out this circuit breaker trip out that means that it will be in separate video for case uh, for case two and case three but we can do for case two Case 2, it will be same as case 1, but just only we don't have this capacitor bank installed here in this bus 11, 3.5 megabar capacitor bank. For this case, the BV cannot be integrated because the voltage out of limit, the voltage out of limit because before <coughs> without capacitor bank installed in this bus the voltage at this bus only 30 30.6 kilovolt so that means BV the voltage out is limit and BV cannot be uh, integrated on this bus so we need for this 3.5 megabar capacitor bank 
thank you all for watching and see you in next uh, scenario or cases that could be another video for phase three and four for air sport thank you